what's the takeaway for our audience? Like, what can people do at home? It's hard to treat a chronic problem, like the, the long-term effects, but to stop the problem from happening in the first place, I call it emotional first aid. And what are the best remedies for emotional first aid? The first one I would think of is Ignatia because it covers such a wide variety of intense emotions. It could be betrayal, humiliation, abandonment, sudden grief, um, frustration, indignation, a lot of the emotions a child would experience with the, the kind of baseball father you described, you know. So you probably have, I think, an Ignatia case. Yeah, in my book I, I, uh, <clears throat> I use the case of a woman who, who's, who's um, about to get married. She's been seeing someone for a long time. Uh, everything's been going great. They're, they're really compatible. Both families are, are in tune with each other. Um, they've been making plans. Everything is going smoothly. Wedding, wedding is arranged. They, day comes, the guy doesn't show up. Mm -hmm. He jilts her completely out of the blue. Mm -hmm. um, in a really cruel way. Really cruel. Uh, I mean, these days, it's, I guess we're getting desensitized to that because people are breaking up in by text, by text and stuff like that. But in my, my example, it's just the old-fashioned kind of horror. Um, now, so the soil that this remedy state grows in is someone who is basically trusting, trusting in principle. And, mm -hmm. and the way I've laid out the story, uh, everything was going so well, you, it would be, would be surprising if she wasn't invested in principle, mm -hmm. you know? So when there's a trauma like this, which is a shock, it's not realistic to expect the idea of principle to disappear. Mm -hmm. So what does happen instead? The principle inverts. The principle inverts. As opposed to everything working out okay, the psyche now says, look, I, I, I'm invested in principle, but I've learned something horrendous from this shock. It must be that it's not the problem of having a principle. The problem is that the principle has inverted. Everything is supposed to become a screw-up. So someone who needs Ignatia, they, they are, their emotions are, are very all over the place. Very they get polarized. a lump in their throat, yeah. very mm -hmm. polarized. But if you have an, a discussion, get into a discussion with them, they will turn it into a, a victimization. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, they'll act, you'll create it, they'll create it in such a way that it's suddenly they'll, they'll, that as if you've attacked them. Mm -hmm. I love giving Ignatia because uh, at the end of it, of course, they'll need other grief remedies. But when they come back, they'll say something like, your remedy did nothing, but everybody's being nice to me now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's one. Right, yeah. And then gelsemium, the remedy for... Yeah, gelsemium... Uh, emotional shutdown. Emotional shutdown. Um, it's a famous remedy for the flu, of course, but homeopaths mm -hmm. know this secret that usually mm -hmm. you're going to become susceptible to the flu from having had a setback, mm -hmm. something frightening. And it can just be a sudden loss of money that you, get, you know, like a loss of income. There's many kinds of setbacks we can experience. Mm -hmm. In a recent case of mine, a woman who I've been working with for quite some long, long time, who had overcome a lot in her life from having been abused and being denigrated, um, made a lot of progress. She had divorced a husband who was uh, you know, she actually completely outgrew her husband, who was an old-fashioned, very, very repressive kind of a guy. Um, she found another relationship, was going pretty well. But this relationship ended in also a kind of a devastating fashion that forced her to go back and live in the house that her father had renovated for her. And it was completely full of memories, that she, you know, the, the idea that she was now regressing. Mm -hmm. So this idea of a setback, mm -hmm. um, she, she was set back. And in consequence, she came to me, she was shaking. She wanted to just escape, or lie in her, go in a room. Um, she could, wanted to close her eyes. This is this is gelsemia. It has many of the features of, of mm -hmm. a flu without actually being a flu, but you could sort of mm -hmm. see how that would predispose you to something like that. Right. So people could actually get these remedies in a health food store in a 30C potency, very reasonable, moderate potency, very safe. When people are in an extreme emotional upset, they're either reacting with strong emotions like Ignatia or kind of emotional shutdown and retreat, like gelsemium. Yeah. It's great to treat it on the spot and very safe to treat kids who are upset. Yeah. 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 So that's something people could do to, to be able to use homeopathy at home. It's true. I mean, if, if the, the, the remedy state has so many features, someone might suddenly say, like in a gelsemium state, that she's unable to focus her eyes. She can't see mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. She could end up in, a, in a, an eye, ear, nose, and throat hospital or see mm -hmm. an eye doctor when simply correcting this at the mind-body level Right. With, with gelsemia would take care mm -hmm. of the whole thing. Well, I'm looking forward to continuing this conversation in our second show.